Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before my birthday on November 25th, so help a girl out. Subscribe down below to see more content like this. Today, I'm finally filming my apartment tour after a whole year and then some. We actually just re-signed on this apartment. We wanted to actually look at places closer to downtown Austin, but due to quarantine, we weren't able to tour anywhere, and I'm super picky about like the lighting in apartments and I always wanna like see it for myself. The apartment we have now is about 1200 square foot. I'll put the actual size of it here. I just can't really remember. Um, and we pay around 1800 per month split between me and Ryan, who is my boyfriend. When we decided to live here, we signed a lease on a two by two because I have so much shit and I just also wanted a separate room to just like film and just like kind of an office space, even though you'll see like the office is actually in the living room, but I just wanted a two by two, especially for storage reasons, because a lot of the one bedrooms we saw literally had one closet and I just, I just couldn't do it. Like if it was a one bedroom and like two closets, then I would be okay. But I needed the two bedrooms. So I'm really happy that we decided on that. Not only is this place actually huge because of the square footage, but the ceilings are super high. So even like in the bathrooms and the closets, it feels massive, which is awesome. Cause you don't feel like claustrophobic, like that apartment style, you know, feeling. I don't know, you guys probably know what I mean. So when you walk through the front door, you have like the AC unit over there, just like a just normal storage closet. And then we have this desk over here. I actually bought a couple of new pieces um, to go in my dad's house when I was in college. And I decided to take a lot of the furniture here to Austin. So this is technically my desk. I honestly never work at it because I'm the type of person to work from the couch or like my bed. I know it's probably not the best, but I definitely need to get back into using this desk because it's like a nice setup. I love this chair too. Super comfortable, swivels and everything like that. Here we have my old ass Mac that I stole from my childhood at home like during college. And it's just like so slow that I don't really use it as much anymore. But I know Ryan used to use it as a monitor for his work, but now he has this really fancy big one that you'll see soon. Now we are in our living room. It's literally the same room, but you know, kind of area. Um, I did want to talk about this piece because Ryan's family friend painted and refurbished it. It looked like super vintage and definitely not my vibe, but we decided to get new hardware for it and paint it white. Um, and then I just kind of like decorated it with some dried baby's breath. And then I think these stars are from Target, that candle's from Kendra Scott. This piece of driftwood has a lot of meaning. I, don't, I think I talked about it in one of my dorm videos because I actually made like a macrame hanging on this, but I took it off because it was not my vibe anymore. But I love this driftwood. My mom found it in Hilton Head. This TV is a really just sentimental piece because I mean, actually a lot of pieces in this apartment are because obviously I paid for them all myself right out of college. So I definitely wanted a smart TV. We just got a Roku TV. I don't know too much about other TVs, but we do love this Roku one. Right next to this TV stand, we have like a basket full of blankets and other things. And then we have this speaker that we always like to blast music on, but there's also been some creepy things that have happened where like people have uh, paired their Bluetooth to the speaker and like played some really creepy music at night. I don't even want to talk about it. It was very scary, but we have this speaker and Ryan loves to use it. So now we are gonna walk over to this couch. It is the infamous couch that I'm obsessed with and I love. Um, a lot of you guys love it too. I got a lot of love on the video that I made. I think I made two videos, one video unboxing and one video as an update. I will say that it does look a little bit worn in because it's been a year and we've definitely gotten our use out of it and are still getting our use out of it. We think it's like the most comfortable couch, very wide, like me and Ryan can cuddle on it at the same time. And I love just like the sectional part. This is definitely my spot right here and usually Ryan's over here. I really got lucky with this coffee table. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with looking on it every single day because you really never know what you can find. But we really lucked out with this one. I think it was like, under $50 or like somewhere around $50. They said they got it from California and it is amazing. Like it ties perfectly in with like the wood, white kind of like airy vibe that I was going for. Now we are at the kitchen and this is really what sold me on this apartment. I love the white subway backsplash and just the white granite countertop. 
And I remember, I think we said this in my empty apartment tour, but Ryan was like, you can watch TV while you're cooking. And I was like, oh my God, I can do that. And it just really excited me. So I love cooking here. I love the counter space. And then we have this bowl. I actually found this on Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, I wanna say it was like $15, amazing, because I was like looking for like a fruit bowl. And I know fruit are obviously better in the fridge, but it just looks so cute. <laughs> this mirror is like my selfie mirror. Well, I have two outfit of the day mirrors, but this is probably my favorite just because it has so much light coming in. And I'm pretty sure I got this from Home Goods, and there was actually like a crack down there somewhere and we got a good discount so we lucked out on this piece too now we are walking into the master bedroom this is huge like seriously when we were touring apartments the bedrooms were tiny. They were tiny little boxes and the ceilings were literally just over my head, but this is massive, I feel like. And I'm obsessed with the way we decorated it. It's very simple because Ryan likes more simplicity in his home. And me on the other hand, you'll see my filming room and you know my style, it's very like eclectic, I would say. I tried to go for a more bohemian vibe, but I did wanna do a little bit something in here because it just looked a little bit too plain. I added a little bit of my own flair. So we actually went with a plain white duvet cover, but we got this bed skirt or bed blanket. I don't, I guess it's not really a blanket though because it's like this weird texture that you would never really cuddle in, but it looks really good at the end of your bed. And then these pillows don't exactly match it, but it kind of goes with the vibe. I got these two pictures off of Etsy. And then I think those frames are from Target as well as all of this bedding stuff. And then our favorite part of this bedroom is the headboard. This is actually custom made from someone here in Austin, Texas, and it is stunning. Like I am obsessed with it. I just had this vision of a hair and bone headboard and I just had to make it happen. So the guy used post oak wood and I don't think he stained it. I think this is the raw wood. So luckily I didn't have any other furniture before that. So I could like try to match everything else to that wood, which was honestly a little tough, but I think I did a good job. So this is a really good Facebook Marketplace find. These little nightstands are super cute. I was a little worried just because they weren't the exact same wood, but I thought that was cool to make it stand out a little bit more. And this like wicker basket texture is super trendy right now. So I loved that I could tie that in. And then these lamps I got from Target. So over here we have Ryan's kind of like man cave. Um, he has like his watch box and I don't know, his Hodinkee magazine. He's like super into watches, so it's kind of dedicated to that. We actually got these like Japanese, was it Japanese or Chinese? Japanese. This girl wrote our name in Japanese at a watch store because we like went to this watch party, I don't know. So that was kind of cool. This is Ryan's closet. I do have a couple of my things in here. We share this shoe rack and then it's a walk-in closet. So if you want to come in, it's kind of not super clean, but just to get a little overview of the closet. He has all his hats over here and then some Georgia memorabilia over here. But yeah, not much to see. So we're gonna head into the master bathroom. We do have a stand up glass shower and a bathtub in case we wanted to take a bath, which like we never really do. I mean, maybe like a couple times. Um, but then we have two sinks, which was very important when we were looking for apartments. Um, it's just, you know, we didn't really want to share a sink. I think that's normal with couples. This bathroom does have a lot of storage. There's like a mirror over here that has a bunch of my skincare in it. Then there's like a cabinet and then all this stuff down here. Um, so yeah, again, nothing too exciting here. So let's move on to the guest room. Here is the guest room. This is my place. This is where I film. This is where I do my makeup. This is where I take my outfit of the days if I'm not using that mirror out there. So over here is my vanity, my makeshift vanity. I found this um, little white table thing off of Facebook Marketplace and it just slides out. So it's really easy to access my makeup. You guys probably don't want to see that. It's a mess. <laughs> um, and then I actually got this mirror off Facebook Marketplace too. And then these pictures, I got prints from Etsy and then the frames are actually from Amazon. And then there's just so much decor back here because I went a little crazy. Some of it you'll notice was from my college dorm. Ryan actually made me those shelves and I love them so much. And uh, that star Ryan's family friend made me too. I finally have a hat wall. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> I got like a bunch of hats recently, so you'll see a couple of my hats are there and a couple of them are in my closet. My bed frame is pretty simple. It's like this wooden bed frame um, that I also stole from my dad. We actually had this bed in our room. This is a queen size and we have a king size right now. Um, and every time we like hang out in here when I'm doing my makeup and Ryan's like just laying on it, I'm like, how did we both fit on that bed? Like it is just so small looking at it now. All right, so over here, is kind of like my favorite little corner. I actually just rearranged my room. As you can see, Ryan's monitor is right here. We were both working from home, so he had to get a little desk for himself. But I did buy this mirror off of Facebook Marketplace, and I think it goes so well with this room and like the wood from Ryan's desk. This is his desk from college. And then this mirror is actually from Amazon. And then these beads are from Hobby Lobby. I have not shopped there in a while. Um, and then also, ooh, I have like a really good Facebook Marketplace find that I wanna show you guys. This, um, what's it called? Like a woven basket kind of poof. At first I used them as bedside tables, but I think it looks really cute over here with the pompous, you know? I feel like this trend is gonna go out of style really quick, but I had to jump on the bandwagon um, while I could. It's kind of redundant that there are two mirrors right next to each other, but I don't really know where to put this one, so. I put it there. Um, but also, I forgot to show you guys this um, rat rattan chair. I don't know what to call it. What is it? Rattan? I don't know. But you guys know it. It's super trendy right now. And honestly, that's the thing I hate about myself because I always like buy the trendy items and then they go out of style and they're not really like classic, I will admit. I definitely think that Ryan has more of a classic style, but I always go for the trends and the fads, which is horrible because I know it's not gonna last like me as long, but um, this rattan chair, I don't know. Wicker chair. Wicker chair, okay. But it, it technically isn't really wicker, but anyways, I got this for 35 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. That was, I, I don't know which one was my best purchase, but that was one of them. It was a good one. I was hyped about that. Okay, now we're gonna come in my closet and you'll notice this closet is like a little bit bigger. You can actually like really walk in here. This closet was another thing that sold me on this place because it's just so huge. You can have a freaking party in here and there's just so much storage. Right here, you can see my lack of color hats hanging on the wall. These are my precious babies. I just bought them and they are stunning. Um, and then over here, you can see all of this just shit hid under <laughs> and like in between my clothes, all of my filming equipment is back here. Usually I leave my lights out in my filming room just because it's kind of a hassle to put up, but I love when they're gone because it just is so open and beautiful. Now I'm gonna quickly show you guys the guest bathroom. It's really nothing fancy, um, but it does have the two sinks and it has the bathtub shower. So it doesn't have the glass door shower, but it has like, you know, normal, like you can take a bath or a shower kind of thing. And this is where I do my hair. I have like a lot of my hair products in here and just like extra storage, like bathroom cleaning products and all that. You guys are in the guest bathroom right now and this is our pantry right here. We're back in the kitchen. It kind of just like loops around. And then over here we have our laundry room, washer, dryer, and a whole bunch of shit that never gets touched. I do have one more thing to show you guys and it's our balcony, let's go. So this is our patio. It is pretty big since we do have the two by two. Um, we have a storage closet right over here. And then here is my bike. That is where it lives. <laughs> Behind me, we have my wicker glider, which means it like rocks back and forth, which is super peaceful whenever I'm wanting to work out here. Cause sometimes our apartment gets pretty cold. So whenever I need like some heat, which Austin definitely brings the heat. Um, I like to work out here and just, you know, kind of like focus more and be more productive. I sometimes even leave my phone inside. <laughs> I did that today and Ryan was like, why aren't you picking up my calls? But I do that a lot. And then I have this poof and this little coffee table thing. They're like plastic outdoor furniture from Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed our two bedroom, two bathroom Austin apartment tour. We are pretty much like 15 minutes from downtown. Ryan would say 10 minutes, but I don't know. I just like to give me some wiggle room. We actually have a city view, but I think an apartment building is currently getting built. We're like scared that it will block our city view, but currently we have like a bit of a city view and it's beautiful because we can see it, especially from our bedroom and all the lights are shimmering at night and it's the perfect view to go to sleep to. But yeah, that's our apartment tour. I'm glad I finally did it. I feel like I've been pushing it off for a while. I will definitely link my empty apartment tour down below if you guys are interested. And if you guys are looking to move to Austin or you know are just 
subscribing to my channel for the awesome videos. Definitely leave some suggestions down below for what you guys want to see because I definitely want to make some more awesome videos. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!